Life at sea can feel isolating at times and for seafarers away from their loved ones, communication is important. British mobile satellite company Inmarsat connects crews with the outside world using its next generation technology, Fleet Express. Sailing the high seas with a career in the maritime industry can be exciting and rewarding, but how easy is it when the mod cons of land, internet, mobile phone and social media aren't readily available? For many seafarers, connection to their families is sporadic, and for some the only way to speak to them and catch up on news is in port at welfare centres like this one. Former Merchant Navy officer Fenner Boyle spent several years as a seafarer. It was really important to stay connected at sea. I wanted to know that my family were okay when I was away for months at a time. I wanted them to know that I was okay, more importantly. If you know that there's something worrying going on at home and you can't log into that and see what's actually going on and get updates um, on that situation, it can be very, very difficult for morale to keep boosted. It is important to access social media. Um, the new generation of seafarers need social media far more. They get their news that way. They find out what's going on at home and family that way. Here on dry land, we rarely leave home without our smartphones so that we can stay connected wherever we are. And that expectation of easy access to high-speed internet is fast becoming a critical factor when it comes to recruiting and retaining seafaring crew. A high-speed broadband connection on board ship would, would have a life-changing effect on the crew that have access to it. But I also think it would have a transformational effect on the businesses that, um, that take that on board. It has the potential to differentiate between companies um, who are employing crew, but I think it, it, will, uh, it will soon become um, a differentiator that um, determines who's prepared to get on board your ship. It's something the global satellite communications company Inmarsat has taken on board. For over 35 years it's been providing critical communications at sea and it is continually innovating to meet the changing demands of the maritime industry. Well, there's really a number of elements that we're addressing. There's operational communications and this is the, the communications from the bridge to shore, um, but increasingly the Internet of Things has resulted in all of these various systems on board vessels, um, unmanned communications that are reporting on uh, some of the operations, whether it's the engine or propeller performance. But then the third element, uh, which is absolutely um, fundamental, is crew communications. As well as providing the satellite link for seafarers to use voice, video, email and social media, Inmarsat also has an entertainment service. We launched Fleet Media to really build on the, the message of crew connectivity, crew internet. Um, Fleet Media is a content service and for the first time it offers um, access to feature films, sports and news, local news content, um, but also part of that service will be training videos as well. So you'll be able to um, support online training to your, to your crew. Inmarsat was set up in 1979 by the International Maritime Organization to provide reliable satellite safety communications. Today it's the only operator that meets Global Maritime Distress and Safety System Requirements, or GMDSS, to ensure rapid alerting of shore-based rescue in the event of an emergency. A recent incident was where a passenger carrying vessel, a cruise ship, uh, developed an engine fire. The initial alert uh, to land-based search and rescue was via Inmarsat Sea system. Uh, the search and rescue authority then established communications with the vessel via voice radio and established exactly the nature of the emergency and how many people were on board that vessel. That then enabled the Search and Rescue Authority to launch the correct amount of assets and everybody on board was successfully rescued. So whether vessels need access to satellite systems to improve operational efficiency, security or crew welfare, it's clear that modern communication is vital both to employers and crew and is an essential investment for future success in the maritime industry.